Okay, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to use physics and path to form in Inochi 2D. Uh, to start, we're just going to have these two legs. Each one has a parameter moving the legs left and right. And we're going to be applying the path to form tool and physics to these two legs. So we're going to start with 2D physics. We've got our left leg selected here. And what we want to do is right click, add simple physics. Since I added it to this node already, it will be added near there. We're just going to move that to about here so that that will be our rotation point for the physics. And you'll notice that if we move around this left leg, there's a little arm that wiggles. We can make that longer, which will change the physics of it. So if we make that to 300, you see this gets longer and it will react differently based on the length. We have a few different types of physics, but for now, we're just going to stick with the default 2D pendulum, which moves left and right. Okay, to actually use the physics, we have to add a 1D parameter, and we're going to do it from minus 1 to 1. And to apply physics to this parameter, we move that, we drag it over to this parameter unassigned. Field. Uh, now, when we move our left leg around, you will see that the parameter here is moving along with it. Now, if you want this to be relative to the movement, you can change from angle length to XY. And now the XY corresponds with the tip of the pendulum. Now that we have the parameters attached, we can go ahead and apply deforms based on this one parameter here, which is the physics parameter. So if you want something to move with the physics, we can now arm this for recording and apply the changes. And for this, I'm going to show you the path deform tool. So for the path deform tool, we select the mesh that we want to apply the path deform to, make sure we're in recording mode, and then we can select path deform tool. From this screen, we deploy points, you can move these points around until they're in the right spot. And when you're ready, you can hit tab. Now, I find it useful to move to the point you want to re uh, record. And now you can deform these points. Once you've hit tab and the line turns green, any movement you make to these nodes actually deforms the leg. So here we can make it really bendy. Uh, I believe that each node affects the nearest nodes to it. And now I find it useful to stop recording and then record again rather than trying to do it the other direction with the same path. So I'm recording a new path. Hit tab to change mode, make sure you are in the correct recording part, and I can now move everything to wiggle to the right, like a horrible flesh snake. So now, as this is our physics parameter, we should be able to move our left leg, and it wibble wobbles like a wind sock. How fun. Okay, and now we're just going to go over 2D physics. I may have said that wrong earlier, but we now have our right leg, which can move in all axes. And similarly, we're just going to click on that node. You can do this to any part of the body. So for this one, I'll just apply it directly to the leg mesh that we're going to edit and add simple physics and this one, we need a 2D parameter. So I'm going to add one here. And like before, drag it up into the unassigned area. And now our leg, little physics node, reacts based on that movement. So you can see it's still acting like a pendulum. So we can change that by adding spring pendulum, which adds a little bit of springiness to that little 
physics bit. I don't know the technical terms, so you'll have to run with me. The little pink thing. And so now, you can see it springs around a lot. And I find for this, we are better off using XY as well. And now you can see that that movement within the physics parameter down here is relative to the middle point rather than just the length of that arm, the little physic bit. So like before, we can arm this parameter that has the physics being applied to it and just rig those up. I'll be using path deforms again. So let's select our leg, apply a path. And I think I'll start with upwards. So we'll have this whole thing just compress up. Sorry. There we go. I forgot to press tab to change it to the green mode. So there we go. Green mode. And now everything should squish and compress upward. And then I'm going to unrecord and re-record, re, -record, re -arm. And then I'll do the same thing for downward. Just stretch this bad boy out. Like he's having a really great Tuesday night. Tab to enter green mode. Make sure I'm in the right section. I'm just going to stretch all these points out. A little. Sometimes when you drag a point out of the frame, you get a little bit of resistance when you unclick, but that might just be because I'm running on a slightly older version that I started while I was working with a client. So you may not get that. Uh, now we go to our left and right to arm, path to form. Move this bad boy to the left. I click back in. If you touch any other thing, you need to click back in and then hit tab to go to the green mode. This boy wiggles out like that. I did it again. And then we'll repeat one more time to the right. So path, boom, 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 boom. Tab to go to green mode. I'm recording the right mode. Move this bad boy out to the right. He's looking a bit wonky. So now, when we move around our right leg, it wibbles around incredibly uncomfortably. So this looks a bit intense to me, so I think I'm going to edit some of the physics parameters here. Uh, the output scale or the dampening both could change. Uh, let's make you longer. Uh, 150. So that you have a bit more swing and heft. I think the dampening is fine, but we can cut down the output scale. For example, if you swing too hard, it can get locked in one of the sides, uh, one of the side states when this little marker flies off to the side. And that means you get some really weird animation. So bringing that output scale down so that it stays within the bounds of the box, depending on your animation, can give you much smoother animations. And there we have our weird little meat socks with physics applied. I hope they don't make you too uncomfortable and that this was helpful.